Hello. Say so. Hello. Can you guys hear us? Nobody is saying anything. Can anybody hear us? Hello? Anyways, my name is Diraj. Once again, if you guys can hear us, can you guys please say something? Please say something if you can hear us. Rowena Lal, can you guys hear us? There it goes. The we have a microphone. Can you guys hear us? Oh, you can oh, hear yeah, us I now. Can, hear. can, yeah, can you can you can hear you. Radhika? Can you hear Radhika? Say something, Radhika. Hi, Hi. Rowena, can you guys hear us? Yes, I can. Both of us? Both of us? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, my name is Diraj once again. Okay. okay, great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ramin Lal. Guys, once again, my name is Diraj alongside. And me, I am Radhika, Radhika Ularte from our hearts with Radhika and Ken. Ken is missing in action for a couple of minutes, but we have, as I said, a man of many hats here today. International dancer, uh, professional dancer, choreographer, chef, you name it. Diraj does it. Thank you. I, and you're a dance instructor as well, uh -huh. because I remember I took a few classes with yep. you. Yep. Then things got a little bit. No, mm -hmm. not cutting you. Tell them, am I, am I losing weight? Because somebody said oh, I'm not losing yeah. weight. Oh, no. In person, we, you yes, can see it. no belly, I can see My stomach is going no down. Belly, I lost belly. a total of 11 pounds so far. Mm -hmm. And I want to keep losing more. Mm -hmm. So eventually, you guys are going to see me looking more skinny. But I don't want to get too skinny again. To everyone in the short box, we want to say happy Monday, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Diraj alongside Radhika Olarte. And guys, we and want to talk about mm -hmm. June 29. Tell them about June 29. All right, June 29. June 29. Um, yeah, let's get down to brass dance yeah, here. Exactly. Attention viewers, save the date for June 29. That's the, the place to be on that evening is no other than a Caribbean fest. Diraj Gairam, DG Entertainment presents a top-notch show from the heart in aid of a medical outreach program. And the mission is only $40, only $40, and you will be getting, uh, um, you will be getting such spectacular artists on that show. $40 is a giveaway. It's a giveaway, it's a yeah. Giveaway. yeah. So you heard that right, only $40. I guarantee you an evening for that you will not forget soon. It's an evening of a lot of surprises, a lot of entertainment, a lot of dancer. Come on out and support our very own disco star, Jumpin' Jack, Farouk the Firishman, Shanti Singh, Sun Sun Sunny Prasad, DJ Logic will be in the house, the NCP dancers, Anjali, Sanita, Radhika, that's myself, Shanaz, Kenneth, Rampersad, Travolta, Amit, Salmon, Sheila Basdev, DJ Ryan, and Sherwin. And of course, the man here himself, Diraj <laughs> Gairam. I, you know, I just want to say... Um, you are always on fire. We thank got, you. We, got, we have to get those... Um, the, the and you know, not cutting you, I am um, th this one, this show here, and then I'm doing one more show, and then at the end of the year, I'm doing a farewell performance, and then I'm officially off stage as a perform as a dancer. No, we don't accept. No, no, I have to because I there's so much going on in my life with my job, and I'm doing different different things, and I want to travel. I want to be able to go take my weekends and travel, so I'm officially calling it quits at the end of the year. But my last show, so for that show, you have to be there because that show. I just want, I just want to have like maybe 150 people in that auditorium or that venue and they could sit there and it's enjoy very selective. very selective and just enjoy the beauty of what dancing really is so at the last on November 2024 this year I'm going to let you guys know the date after June 29th and you're going to see my last performance and I'm bringing back some of the dancers of the Gungu Dance Academy dancers, the old, old dancers. But I call them old because they've been there for years. But they're going to come back and dance with me. So we're going to have a beautiful show. Wow. And that's our farewell show. But let's talk about June 29th. Now, when I, I went to a very good friend of mine fundraiser a couple in April 29th. I performed for her. Whenever she calls me, I always 
donate my time for fundraisers. You know, we do a lot of fundraisers yeah. for all these different organizations. Mm -hmm. But recently, I don't like to support organizations do fundraisers because as soon as they get the money, they go on mini vacations, they paint their house, they do this, and they show off. And they don't really call the people names who have helped in raising those funds. They take the name, that the good name for themselves, and not given the artists who give their time for free. And everybody who performs for free or whatever you do for free, you should be acknowledged also, not only one person taking all the benefit. So on this show here on June 29th, we have, um, I want to call all the names again. We have Travolta, we have Shanti Singh, Sheila Bazio, we have Radhika Olarte, Shanaz Hussain, Jumping Jack, we have Sunita Singh, we have Shori Matura, I'll be there, Sansan Rampasad, Sansan. We have Balaika, we have Saman Ali, we have Kent Rampasad, we have Ryan, we have Logic, we have uh, Amit. And guys, I'm going to be there on Caribbean Fest, give us a place for free. So all the, and Farouk the Firishman, we have all these artists came together, given their time for free, so that we can raise some funds for our medical outreach program. And when I went to this person's event in June, on April 29th, I was blown away by what she does, what she does for the people of Guyana medically, right? So we want to raise funds and do something like that. So we want you guys to come out there because all the money will be used for the medical outreach program to bring somebody from Guyana who needs surgery really badly life-changing sur surgery. So even if you can't come and you want to buy a ticket and donate the ticket to somebody else, please do that because all the money raised will be going towards our medical outreach program. Okay, viewers, as you see, it's a night of entertainment, top-notch entertainment, and this is a good cause. You will be contributing to a very good cause. And summer is here, so let's just start the summer with a big bang, bang, bang. Exactly. Right. And that's official mm -hmm. kickoff. The week after is the official kickoff. Yes, so come out there, and you're partying mm -hmm. for a purpose, because look at this as a regular show, because we do have great dancers, we do have great artists, all performing for free. Come out there, enjoy a beautiful evening, and just give a donation of $40 at the door so the money goes towards our medical outreach program. And I plan to do this here every year because I'm not going to be performing anymore as a dancer, but I'll be doing a lot of fundraisers. But I'm going to choose the people or the organizations I help because I'm tired helping all these different people and all these different organizations. And then to find only that the money goes into their pocket. Of course, and that is... Everybody right now, they are checking what they donate to. Exactly, donate and to. you should have a because, right to check. Yeah, because right now there is a lot going on in the community. A lot of scam. A lot of scam. Yeah. And FBI is involved in a lot of the scam. And so. I think the FBI has a right because you know why some of them is taking it. I, 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 I did so much fundraisers for a lot of different organizations and manders and different people going to do different things. And then they say, oh, we're going to take you and we're going to make the donation. But of course they don't, because they don't want people to know the other people behind the scene. Mm -hmm. And I know I go on the microphone a lot, and I raise money for people. And at the end of the day, when they go to make the donation, they never mention who are the people behind the scene that help raise these exactly. funds. So the FBI should be involved and mm -hmm. look at their records. And I want you guys to come out there and see what we are doing, because the night of every, every single money we raise is going to go towards the not for profit. The, the, well, we don't have a not for profit organization. It's just some of us guys and girls came together. So we, the night of, you guys will see where the money is going. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Everybody, you know. You're going to be there. Yes. You're going to see all the door and money, all the raffle money, the, all the donations. And the tickets is only $40. Yes. But if you would like to donate something else to the cost, 100 bucks, 200 Please, you are welcome to do so because it is a very, very good cause that all this is going to give back. What give I want to do also is, even if you want to buy a ticket, wherever you are, any part of the world, and you're listening to us right now or watching us right now, um, if you want to buy a ticket, donate a ticket to somebody who wants to come. You don't have to come personally, but you could buy a ticket and give it to someone. Or tell me, Diraj, give it to somebody who wants to come, but they can't afford to buy a ticket. So like the people in the shout box right now, wherever you are, you want to buy a ticket, just call my number, sell the money, because the money will be I'm keeping a tab of all the money being sold to me. So this way, at the night of, I'm writing a check to the organization that this is the money we collect. And the cash we raise right there is going to go towards the organization also. So if you want to buy a ticket and you can't come, if you want to donate $10 or $5 mm -hmm. towards the organization, remember, every single cent counts. 
and every single cent, e each one of your cents will be accounted for. Will be for. accounted for because we are going to give you a breakdown of how the money raised and how the money is spent. Mm -hmm. So next Saturday, Saturday, June 29th, please come out to Caribbean Fest and it's help us. Saturdays. It's yeah. two Saturdays from now. It's called From the Heart. I didn't realize this show also is called From the Heart. I didn't realize, oh, it's get. from our hearts. Well, our get. show is called From the Heart. I should yes, call it From I, Our I Hearts. I, I didn't realize, I, I didn't realize. I, I didn't realize you guys have the yes. same name for this show. But listen, mm -hmm. come out there June 29th and let's celebrate life. Celebrate what we're doing because it is for a worthy cause. So guys, where are we meeting on June 29th? We have a date, okay? It's all happening at Caribbean Fest, and that is 116.24 Rockaway Boulevard, Queens, right? Doors open at 7 p.m. The show time, yes, show time is 8 p.m. 8 p.m., so make sure you're there early. Get your seats, get some drinks, and, you know, and let's party that night. Okay? And it's more of a dance party, so when you come there, come with your dancing shoes. I can't promise you a seat because we're trying to take away the seats from the place and just have the seats for the people who really want to sit down. But otherwise, it is a party party. So come out there and party with us. And let's have a good time because remember, you're partying for a worthy cause. Mm -hmm. So for more information on tickets, you can call the, the uh, I call him D sometimes. <laughs> at 718-850-7952. Or you can call Ken and myself. We also have tickets. Exactly. Or any one of the artists have tickets to sell, right? Everybody. What about Crown? Golden Crown. No, but what I did was I give them to the artists, let them sell to their people. Right. And if you guys want tickets, we even if you live in the tri-state area, we deliver tickets to you also. Mm -hmm. So call me, I'll come to your house and deliver the tickets. You get personalized service. But if you want, but I just want you guys to come out there because it's gonna be a beautiful night to celebrate in because we are gonna celebrate life and we are gonna celebrate. You know what? We're helping the underprivileged, helping somebody who needs the help really badly. So for tickets, you can call Ken at 917-767-2248, or you can call myself at 347-721-6890. Uh, Remember once again, this concert from the heart is an aid of the medical outreach program. Come on out and have a great evening with family and friends. Bring everybody, it's a show for everyone. Enjoy the performances by some of your favorite artists, as I said. And at the same time, you will be contributing to a powerful, a powerful fundraiser. Rowena Lal has asked me if I will deliver her ticket. You're sure, right? I'll take an air. You know, I was talking about that today, right? I'm going to buy an airline ticket for $200, come to Rowena, deliver her $40 ticket, and come back. I was talking about that today. Somebody owes somebody $2, and they want to spend $4 to go pick up $2. All right. My dear friend Tara saying yes, I'll get a ticket. And Exactly. You know, like, that's what that. I'm saying. If yeah. you don't have to mm -hmm. physically come, you can buy a ticket and I'll be giving it to somebody who really wants to come. Yeah. And this way we can have the support of everybody out there. Rowena, if, um, if um, D, D Raj can come, I'm sure he'll send me to deliver it. I'll send Radhika to deliver it. Radhika and Ken, so you can get from, <laughs> our, from our hearts. <laughs> All right, and good night to Baldev Anil. Thank you for logging on. We have Lee Nye. I can't see all the names. Tara Singh is here. Rowena, um, Diraj, oh yeah, I'll bring back mangoes for him. Oh, oh my God, I love mangoes. Yes. But I listen, guys, I lost now. 11 pounds because I don't really oh eat a God, lot of different things. I, I have lost, I have lost a, lot, uh, a few pounds, but I'm working on losing more. He has, he has no belly. It's no actually tummy. going flat, down now. Flat, so flat. I'm hoping by June 29th, I lose five more pounds. So you guys can see that I'm actually losing. Fess said I, he doesn't see any difference. Oh no. Glasses, I think, well, I don't have my glasses, so I really can't see. <laughs> I really can't see what you guys are saying in the shout box, so do yeah. please do forgive me if Tara I don't call your name out. Call me tomorrow for the ticket. Fine. That, thank, thank you so very much. And um, Lena, I said that is so true, Niraj. I'm not supporting a lot of shows anymore. They need to understand this uh, people, money is going for help. And do you, do, you, do you know something also yeah. with all the shows that's happening nowadays? This lip singing is really getting out of hand. People are paying these artists thousands of dollars to come to these shows, and they're coming there and they're and they're lip singing, and that's not right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's not right because 
come on, be paying thousands of dollars for them to perform, and they're lip singing. Yeah. So guys, be careful which shows you go to, which shows you support, because you don't want to go there and be disappointed. You know what I mean? So do watch with very respect. And you know what it is? I have stopped taking bookings since the beginning of the year. I have stopped taking bookings because I have a few bookings I have to finish, and then I officially stop dancing. I'll retire from dance and I'll be teaching. I'll be doing videos, but I wouldn't be performing on stage as a perform as a dancer. I'll be hosting on different things. You know what I mean? So there's so much to do. There's so much to do in the field of entertainment, but I wouldn't be put that performing as a dancer. But be careful also what dance you hire because. One person called me a couple of weeks ago and said to me they hired one because I had refused the wedding. The person called me and said, can you come and dance at my daughter's reception? I said, I'm really sorry, but I stopped taking bookings. And that same that I had to perform for somebody else, that I took their money two years ago and I spent the oh, money wow. out. So, so I yeah. had to go dance. You had right? to appear. I had to appear, or, yeah. Or disappear. Or disappear. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I had to go dance. So she called me and said, I'm, D, I'm really angry at you. I said, why? She said, because I wanted you to dance here, they couldn't come, so we hired somebody else. And the person showed up was a full-blown woman, and she wanted a guy. Oh, no. So I said, well, this is what our community is encouraging nowadays. They're encouraging these guys dressed as girls and wearing lingas and saris and wigs and dancing and calling themselves dancers. So be very careful who you hire as a performer. If you want a female dancer, we have awesome female dancers. You want a male dancer, we don't have any anymore. Oh, goodness, yeah. Yeah, you're putting me to think a lot here now. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. that's true, right? Because you hire a guy show up as a girl. All the young guys are dancing as girls now, so you don't have any male dancers. We have female impersonators, and we have female dancers. Would you hire a female impersonator, or would you actually hire a female? Actually a female. Exactly. Me, exactly. Female. Especially the female mm -hmm. dancer can perform, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So guys, Saturday, June 29th, all roads lead to Caribbean Fest for... For... For, um, what's the name of it? Um, from, from the Heart. From the Heart. How could you forget From the Heart? And you have From the Heart. From the Heart, yes. Okay. From the Heart in aid of the medical outreach. Guys, your money is going towards benefiting people who really need medical medical attention. It's an aid to help people to come to seek attention, um, medical attention here in the United States. And it's an enjoyable evening. Diraj always does top of the notch. <laughs> you know what it is? We have fun, and so they have fun. Yes. So if you want to have fun, you want to forget about your problems, come out there. Mm -hmm. You're going to you're gonna party for a worthy cause. You're going to have a good time because we're going to have some amazing artists over there. We have some really good singers. I want to play this song by one of the artists who will be appearing. So guys, um, if you want to come to the show, please do come. Let me play this song while they, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> Incident report. At 0300 hours, a number of Universal Dynamics robots were lost in a typhoon. Chance of recovery is unlikely. Yeah. 
and counting more than 200 yeah yes oh my god yes and you still are the king of the dance floor you know what's funny um at the end of the year it's going to be 50 years for me on stage right well officially the end of the year 50 years and what's amazing is i have never i'm now in a boast and brag about myself but i don't think anybody has been studying the craft or the art of dancing just to like know what they're doing like i have I have dedicated 50 yeah, years, 50 years, from, yeah. From how many years? From nine years old, nine from years nine, old. yeah. Yes, you have dedicated I have dedicated so much to it. You have put so much into it, and it shows, and you love what you do. That's the part, I say oxygen is my dance, and um, is my oxygen for me is my life, right? Uh, oxygen is life, and dance is my life, which is like, ox dance is my oxygen. So I don't know what's going to happen when I retire from dancing, because... But I did think I'll be teaching still, I'll be making videos and stuff, but I just want to be performing on stage because you know what it is too? I love to do I classical. Like when you turn, turn. yeah, you, well, for a party, I come and have fun. <laughs> but the, the thing is that um, our wrestling community does not hire you to p do classical dancing, but it's what I love to do. All they want to see is chat me, chat me, chat me. I'm going to be 60 years soon. I don't want to be dancing chat me at 60, although I still can. But I don't want to be dancing chat me at age 60. You know what I mean? I want to do, I, still, I know I can still do it, but I just think it, I'm getting too old to be shaking my, you know what, um, on stage. I just prefer to dance classical, but our community does not appreciate classical dancing, so they don't hire you for classical dancing. But for my farewell show, I'll be doing a lot of classical dances. I will do chat me also because I'm known for that, but you got to come out to my farewell show. But before the farewell show, you got to come on uh, Saturday, June 29th. Yeah. Doors open at 7 p.m., showtime at 8 p.m. And for tickets, for more information, you can call Viraj, you can call Ken, you can call myself or any of the other artists on board. And we will be happy, happy to get you tickets or accommodate us. So I, you can drop off as well. You can uh, yeah, I can deliver if you guys yeah, need tickets, yeah. As well. And if you cannot come but you want to make a contribution to this worthy cause, Please, you can buy a ticket and donate it to somebody who really wants to come. Exactly. So I know who just walked into the studio, DJ Quicksilver. I think he's going to be on next after me. Yes. And he just made a pledge of giving us $100 to the organization. So oh, thank you, Quicksilver. Right. Thank you very much. I'm so happy to get into the studio. Now we're going to have $100 from Quicksilver. And I heard he made a killing in the last show. He made a really big profit. So if you want to give us $200, we'd appreciate that. But anyway, guys, like I said before, I don't have my glasses. I really can't see who is saying anything, but I've seen Michael Nilini. Michael and Nilini, thank you guys for all your support. Are and they going to come to the show on the 29th? Michael, and she hasn't called me as yet. Are you coming to the show on the 29th? It's at Caribbean Fest. Um, I'll send you flyers. We also have Imran Ahmad. Good night, good night. How are you doing? All the so pleasure. Michael and Lynn, are they coming to the show on the 29th? Because they I'm always support us. I'm waiting for them to... Um... Oh, I think they have some. Okay. Somewhere. Guys, like yeah. I said before, if you, don't have, if you can't make it, you can buy a ticket and support it. You know what I mean? Buy a ticket, give it to someone who wants to come and support the event. Like, look, Quicksilver is giving us $100 and he's, he's uh, like paying for two and a half tickets. So I guess right. we're going to have two and a half people coming in in the door. All right. So <laughs> they, they want you to tell, they said you have to tell Fess how to lose those bunks. I can tell Fess how to lose bunks. Just keep your mouth shut after 5 o'clock. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Just but, don't eat after 5. You but, know, I but, don't eat after 5 in the afternoon anymore. And I've been losing the last 11 pounds already. All right. So thank you, guys. And now we're getting ready. What else you want to say? I just want to say, don't forget, Saturday, June 29th, Caribbean Fest, we're going to have <laughs> Imran Ahmad Wav Nawab to the other half. Well, if, a DJ, if um, DJ Quicksilver gave us 120, 
that we could have three whole person walking. Well, Michael, Nalini, Naidu, you can buy a ticket and support the event. You know, even if you don't have to, be, you don't have to come, but you can buy a ticket and support, like you always do. You support. All right, thank you. Again. Michael, and say I will miss it, but you can buy a ticket. Thank you so much. Okay, so right. June 29th, yes, come out 29th, there. We all have a date. See you guys there. Caribbean Fest. Right. Until next time, take care. Thank you, Diraj. And let me play mm -hmm. a song to bring in uh, Quicksilver. You know, he's the DJ. He should be playing my music, but it's okay. Um, let me see if I get a song for him to bring him in. Um, okay, here we go. You know, when I play, try to play this song here, nothing happens, so I don't know what's going on. It's because the Quicksilver is here. <laughs> you know, Quicksilver, you can't catch that at all, you know. <laughs> all right, guys, until next time. Ah, yes, you don't know, right? Show in Matura. Maha Productions. Up in a chupa unga, some cobra taunga, to chuka some semen. Up in a bana unga, to his son made up yard. To his son made up yard. Very good evening and welcome back to From Our Hearts with Radika and Ken on Island Zone Radio on this beautiful Monday night. I know it's kind of hot, but that's we got the AC and we got the fan going. And yeah. plus we have the fiery Miss Radika Olarty with her yellow dress <laughs> burning it here tonight. So how are you doing, Radika? I thought I would calm down things a little bit. Yeah, you know, you upset people <laughs> on fire here tonight. How are you doing? I am doing, as I'm just telling you, um, what can I say? I'll say fine for now because if I say no, nobody will hear anyways. But my allergies, my face, my face is like a blister. 
I don't know what to do about this thing. But anyway, hello viewers, how's it going this evening? Huh? A warm welcome and a hearty thank you to all of you for choosing to spend the next hour and a half, maybe two hours, because we have a lot of questions for DJ. We have a lot to learn from this young man, right? But welcome to From Our Hearts with Radhika and Ken on Island Zone Radio. A huge thank you to all of you, our dear family and friends. Today, it is an hour, an honor, and a privilege to have with us that this handsome, charismatic, dedicated, and dependable young man, DJ Quick Silva. All right, I like that. Let's get it. Hey, hey. Good night. Good night. Good night. You, you, like you eat Coke or something before you come in. All right, so. DJ Quicksilver, thank you so very much for gracing our studio this evening. Thank you for having me. Thank you me. so very much. And um, I think you have more than 15 years delighting us with your DJ music. But we'll get down to the questions, right? And um, I heard Ken has been telling me you had a very, very successful show uh, two weeks ago, was it? Yes. But we will get into the show. I want to talk mm -hmm. to him about the show. But, you know, Radhika, before we... Um, before I forget, I want to tell you that I one of the reasons I brought DJ Quicksilver here is to let him know how grateful I am and uh, thankful because, you know, our International Women's Day and Men's Day, he play mm -hmm. free for us. I want the public to know. And I thought that was a very great thing that he did because, you know what, not a lot of people really do this for us. So I want to say thank you very much, DJ Quicksilver. You're welcome. Right? We yeah. really appreciate it from the yeah. bottom of so our We heart. gotta get him to talk mm -hmm. a little more hard so that yes. the mic could pick him yes. up. Um, Can he come ahead. in a little bit more probably? Mm -hmm. And now before we step right into the interview, I just want to shout out a happy belated Father's Day to all you wonderful dads out there. All the grandpas and all, to all the moms who play a dual role as a mom and dad to the children as well. Father's Day, as we all know, is always the third Sunday of the month of June, a day that is set aside to all you wonderful dads um, to celebrate the king of the house, the king of the home, right? And we celebrate fathers, we celebrate, we celebrate anybody related to fatherhood, adopted fathers, godfathers, anybody with paternal bonds as, and the influence as fathers in our society. So, Ken, happy Father's Day to you. How was your day? I know you had to work, but I hope you had a wonderful time with Gita and the kids. And can you tell us a little bit about how you spent your Father's Day? Then we're coming back to DJ, DJ Quicksilver. Quicksilver well, to there is nothing exciting about Father's Day yesterday because I work, and when I came home, I had to do some work in the yard, then I had to pick up Gita from work at 8 o'clock. By the time she came home, I am pooped out, so... Um, nothing exciting, but I hope that we could um, rejuvenate and matters. Um, men matters, you know. <laughs> and that's why I say every day is Father's Day, every day is happy, uh, you know, happy day, so <laughs> what can I tell you? Um, but, you know, like I said, every day is Father's Day for me, you know, so, hey, nothing special. Nothing special. Uh, you know, it's a day we cherish you guys every day, too, so. Right, definitely. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. so, DJ Quicksilver, are you a dad? No, I'm not. Not yet, at least. Not yet, at least. <laughs> The, so did you spend the day? How did you? I spent the day, day with my dad, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Family. It was a family day. Uh, yes. That's about it. Oh, that's good. You had a great that's day, though. I had, had a great day. day. Yeah. So that's what matters. Family. I'm still time tired and, from it. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, so guys, I hope you all had great gifts, of, and you gave dad a great gift too, yes, of course. because you know, every year dad usually get the yearly <laughs> quota of. Um, Briefs, boxers, <laughs> and, <laughs> and um, we call it boxers and singlets and, and socks, right? Well, I buy yeah. my own things like that, so, you know, I, I don't know. And I think this year some of them might have been lucky to get some kind of a device that's the going thing right now. So right, right, definitely. Even if an earplug or all those fancy thing, little things, right? That's the That you've been looking at for a little while. Also, I... I want to take a moment. I don't want to forget our fathers who are in heaven, right? I just wanted a shout out, a happy Father's Day to all the fathers in heaven. To my dad in heaven, I say on behalf of all your children and grandchildren, 
tears may fall in your memory, but they are outshone by the brilliant smiles you etched in our hearts and upon our souls. Enjoy your Father's Day with mom, with your son Sona and your grandsons Arun and Ajay. Enjoy Father's Day from high above. You earned it a million times over. Thanks, Ken and DJ Quicksilver for just allowing me to share those no sentiments problem. with you guys and the viewers. Thanks, everyone. And now, DJ Quicksilver, welcome again, and thank you for gracing our studio. Welcome to the From Our Hearts with Radhika and Ken show. And um, as Ken said, you have been you have been a backbone for us in our shows. And I would like to thank you once again for that. You know, reliable, dependable, as I said before. And we are absolutely and truly delighted to have you here tonight. So what, let's start it off. What can you tell us? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, I was born in Trinidad. I moved to New York about 30 years ago. Oh, long time. So, very long time. I so, thought you were about 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I basically grew up over here. I did everything over here. Um, I saw you, know, you went to high school over high here. High school over and, here. And everything. College and I all started that. from, I believe, second grade mm -hmm. and worked my way up. So you have been a DJ for, let's say, over 15 years. That's correct. More than 15 years. And um, do you also have like a 9 to 5 job, a 401k job that pays the bills, you know? Or are you only dedicated to DJing? So DJing, I started from high school. 2005, I started DJing. I do have a 9 to 5 job. I am a, I'm into electrical engineering. I currently work as an electrician mm -hmm. uh, with the phone one can stuff. I have all of that. Um, basically, DJing is my hobby, something I do on the weekend, something I use to stay busy, to stay out of trouble. Oh, trouble, yeah. You know? <laughs> so that's what I utilize it for. And mm, I love music. Music is my passion. And I don't think I'm ever going to get that up. All right. So how did this all start with you? And you, I know that you're with um, Island Zone Radio too. That's you know right. the guy. So how you, you um, started all of this? So basically from family parties. Family parties growing up. I was the one who played music. And then I just grew to love it. From there, I was like, you know what? This is something I want to do. And when I first started, I wasn't very good. But I worked. I worked, I worked until I am where I am. Mm. I started from the ground up and built my way up. Uh, in terms of Island Zone Radio, yes. I met DJ Fess maybe more than 10 years ago. Oh, wow, long time. A very long time. And uh, I started playing on the radio. I used to DJ on the radio before. Yeah. And then obviously I became part of Elite Sounds and things just fell into place from there. Good, good. It's That's a good, nice. It's a good place to start Island Zone Radio. That's where I start too. <laughs> That's where we were also, well, where, <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, I have to ask you, you started in high school. And I have to say, in our West Indian community, most of the students, most of the boys that I know in high school have, I think it's like a rite of path, a passageway that, that all these kids, they love music. And they all start out DJing, some for a year, some for two, and then they get into different activities. But I think like 90% of the kids that I know have, start, have always been DJing a little, backyard parties, garage parties, you know. Well, and everyone has their own hobby that they like. Right, right. And my thing is, as long as it keeps you out of trouble, stick to it, you know. There were days where I uh, I saved allowance money to buy a CD at the end of oh, the week. Oh, really? You know? Wow. So things like that, I don't forget. I still have my collection. Uh, never going to give that up. Oh, wow. It's worth thousands of dollars right now, but still not giving it up. It's close to your heart. That's oh, yeah, of course. So I just want to say, Navin Ramsaran Maharaj, 
he, uh, White Tiger. He's, um, he's saying that you're one of the brightest minds in the business and mad respect for you. Yeah. Of course, uh, everyone knows that uh, I manage not mm -hmm. and Sherwin. So they're, they're my left and right. You know, oh, cool. anything in the business, mm -hmm. we speak about it. We all agree or disagree. Mm -hmm. We all share opinions. And that's where we grow as a team. Just want to make a shout out to your sister, Anita Ishdaulathram, all the way from Canada. Um, nice to have you on, as always. Iris Goberdan, good night, my dear. That's and Gita's aunt. Um, oh, that is Gita's aunt from Guyana? Yeah, yeah, she oh. watched me. Thank you for logging on. And I, I want to say to um, Navin is a very nice young man too. So you're very blessed to have each other. You know, he's a good guy. We interviewed him before. And so one of the guys that I would love to see do great things too, you know? Oh, yes. Oh, he, Absolutely. He is coming out with a lot of great things. Uh, I keep, I follow him too. So, yes. So what yeah. gives you that motivation to go on? Because, you know, today I was in the backyard and I, I was tired, but still, I was doing my work. Still doing and keep pushing, you know, <laughs> despite what well, I've got a lot accomplished. So what gave you that drive? Then when you wake up in the morning, you says, wow, I'm a DJ. I'm going to do this, you know. And the, the tired, tired part, part, it's always going to be there. That's never going to go. And you just thrive off that, you know. Bringing people together, seeing people happy. That's what makes me happy. That's what keeps me going. That's what gives me energy. Uh, of course, when I wake up in the morning, I do feel it. You do. Everyone do. We're all humans. <laughs> right, right, right. But and you know, morning sleep, that's the best sleep ever but, when you got to get up. Of course, but <laughs> nothing can replace that feeling when you do an event and you make everyone happy. There's, there's no money that can buy that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that can replace that. I want to ask you, what was the best piece of advice that you ever received and from whom? My best piece of, of advice, I received a lot of advice, to be honest with you. The best, I would say, was follow your heart, don't listen to anyone. Just follow what's in your heart. There's going to be negative comments, there's going to be positive comments, but once you do something with a clean heart, you're always going to win. And what advice would you give like to upcoming DJs? Upcoming DJs, I would say if you love this business, stick to it, work on it, get better where you need to, and with experience, you will get better. The goal is the goal is day by day get better than you were yesterday. Perseverance and always oh, learn yes, something. Absolutely. Always better. You're, you're, um, you know, when we start, anytime we start anything, our parents are the first to say, I not do that. Don't do that. You know. <laughs> what, did you receive this support from your parents and your family members? So it was kind of on and off. At first, my mom hated it. Um, but then she realized that people were respecting me in the community. Right. Yes. And that changed her mind a little bit. She still have days where she's a little annoyed, you know? Yeah. yeah. But that's every parent in the West Indian community. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's never going to stop. A mom will always be a mom. And what she's saying now, though, she happy for you? Now she's happy for me. Um, Is that I, a DJ? I, I, now she's happy for me. I recently did a show. When I first started the show, uh, oh, when I first set it up, she had questions like, are you, you know, are you sure about this? Do you know what you're doing? Things along those lines. And, you know, by the show date, you know, she sold about 25 tickets. Oh, wow. Nice. So, nice. Nice. so, you know, uh, again, that's every parent. That's, um, yeah, and a proud mommy. Was oh, she yeah. at the last mm -hmm. show that you had? Yes, yeah, she was there. Oh, good for her. Mm -hmm. She get to see her son in our glory. Yes. <laughs> she was having fun. Oh, nice. <laughs> I want to ask you, what, in your opinion, separates the pros from the rookies? So the difference between the pros 
and the rookies. Someone who's a pro, someone who has experience at a live event with situations, they know how to maneuver things in order to make it work. If you see, if you're at an event and you see the crowd is not reacting to something the way you thought they would, someone who's experienced knows what to do next. Someone who's not experienced may get nervous and may not know what to do next until someone advises them. That's so technically, um, when booking a DJ for an event, what should we look for in the DJ? Well, the first thing is professionalism. I think that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing is experience. And of course, the third thing, everyone watch their budget. So as, it, as someone in the industry, I try to accommodate all three things. There's some people who are gonna feel otherwise. They're, they're gonna think, you know, this can't work for me and that's fine. You know, I try to work with everyone the best I can. You seem kind of level-headed from the first time I saw you. Um, what keep you grounded and what makes you stand out from the rest of DJs? I think what makes me stand out aside from talent is being humble. If you're not humble, you wouldn't go far in any type of business, especially the music industry. That's good, that's right. Yes. And I guess in, it's the way, the way of life. A lot of time, you know, um, you have to be humble. I, I believe in any profession. I'm a, I'm a true believer of humbleness and helping. Of course. You know. So I, I believe in that the most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I second you on that. Um, I don't want you to give away all your techniques if you don't want to. But I suppose that you do have a technique for keeping energy levels high at all times. Yes? Oh, yes, absolutely. And one of the things I've learned to do is feed off the energy from the crowd. When the crowd gives you energy, you take it and you run with it. If they're not reacting how you think they would react, then that's where experience comes into play and you have to know what to do next. Because at that point, all eyes are on you, mm -hmm. you know? If you do something wrong, they're gonna look, they're gonna point, they're gonna say things, and it happens. It's happened to me before, but I overcame it. This DJ didn't know where you play. <laughs> the right thing like that, right? That DJ didn't know for play music. Exactly. You know, you can't please everyone. Right, right. You can't please everyone, but if you can please 80% of the crowd, I think you did a great job. Um, I'm gonna let Radhika, she's gonna ask you, you know, different question, but I wanna keep personal. I, my question is gonna be, because if I be honest, we, I didn't get to go through these, these questions, so I'll let her do that. <laughs> but, but the thing is that um, you said humbleness, and, and one thing I love to hear people say, to be humble, what keeps you Humble. What's your life that you your, your, the, 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 you live by? What keeps you humble? Because of your blessing. That's one. You know, uh, I would say that's one. Uh, what also keeps me humble is also when people are appreciative. That that makes you humble automatically, you know? That can take you from 100 to zero, zero to 100, real quick, either or. Mm -hmm. It depends on how the crowd is reacting, how the clients are reacting, how the fans are reacting. It goes both ways. Wow. And you read, you read the people, them, how they're dancing. Oh yes, of course. If you see everybody sitting down. Then you know you're doing something wrong. Oh really? Yes. Wow. 100%. Okay. All right. Um, 
Do you have like a go-to song that if you see people sitting down and they're not dancing, do you have like a song, uh, uh, no, song or two <laughs> that brings everybody out on the floor and they start shaking what mama gave them? I don't have a go-to song because every different scenario, different crowd, different age groups, and different style of music. So I don't have one specific song, but for example, if a crowd is into Indian music, you go with the flow. If they're into chutney, if they're into soca, you just go from there. And you have to read that, you know? You have to read that. So do you interact with the crowd to keep them um, yes, engaged? Yes, I do. You, you have to, that's one of the most important things is interacting with the crowd. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's how you understand what they like, what they want, what they don't like. And what can you tell us a little bit about your unique style or your personality as a DJ? As a DJ, um, my unique style, I'm a very, I'm a big fan of clean music, clean transitions. No, no rum thing too much. No. Not no room like Not a lot of talking over the mic. Oh, really? Not a lot of sound effects. Keep it smooth. People oh. like that. I I sometimes don't like when the um you know the like DJs the are DJ, talking over the mic. No, not that only. Um, but when you're saying you're doing a song, right? Mm -hmm. And especially like Indian songs, and you know the song in your head, and the piece coming for your wind down, and boom, they put they on another it. song. Oh yeah. yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> you have to know when to cut it and. Growing up, I was learned to cut by verse. So that's why you don't ruin anyone's mood. Right, right. You know? Especially the red to shake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes the best piece you're waiting for that piece. And <laughs> I'm like, okay. You know, so, so that's one thing sometimes. I, I don't like the cutting of the music too much. Oh, yeah. I yeah. don't believe in that either. Yes. What you um, do when, um, let's say that you have your song them line up mm -hmm. and somebody come and, like any, Buddy from the audience come and say, listen, I need you to play this song. A certain song. song. What will you do? How you how you deal with that in a positive way? In a positive way, that's where experience comes into play a lot. You have to know whether that song is going to destroy the crowd or it's gonna keep them going. If it's something that's gonna have everyone standing there looking at you, uh, try to avoid it. Mm -hmm. That's my best advice. Oh, okay. What kind of songs do you, in particular, like to play most? Typically, I'm into the West Indian typical music, uh, Bollywood, Chutney, Soka, and a little bit of everything else, depending on the crowd. Mm -hmm. So I try to be as versatile as I can be for the crowd. And if I see that they're gravitating towards something, mm -hmm. I stick. I stick to that. Yeah. Do you as, want... you, as you say, in today's um, world of music, there is a mixture of ethnic, ethnicity backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, and everything. Do you have a <laughs> DJ list of different types of music? And oh, yes. what do you get asked for the most? I've gone to parties, and right now, like a lot of the Latino songs. Oh yes, uh, and do people, younger crowd they like they like that type of like, music. Yeah. Do people give you a list when you're going to play? Um, like let's say you're going to play for a wedding, do they give you a list, or you just come up with your own list? There's people that do give a list, and I just combine it with my own mm -hmm. stuff and make it work from there. One. One genre I notice works all the time to get the party going is soca. soca you start, me you too. You start That's there. That's me. Tiny, whiny, and then thing. <laughs> you start there, and it when tells. you catch them, you know what to do next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, this is the month of June. Mm -hmm. It's summer. It's wedding. There's a lot of activity going on. You know, we come out from hibernation and right, we're getting wild a little bit out here with the sun and everything. How do you manage 
This is the busiest times for DJs, I would yes. say, right? How do you manage multiple bookings? Well, for that, the time, the timing has to work. Before, before, uh, sorry, um, Radhika, but I want to say happy birthday to Miss um, so Sabita birthday. I didn't want to miss this. Mm -hmm. um, today's her birthday. That's Auntie Iris' daughter. Okay. And I really want to say, you know, I like to feel it's very special. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell Iris, Auntie Iris again, and her daughter and the family, thanks for their love and their support because they because they love Gita and they they give in that extra love base. She don't get it if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes, Daddy gave her the love, but you guys really rocked the boat. So thank you so much for this. And I'll, I'll play a special birthday song for her. All right, by I, the way, I, I have, yeah, oh. but I have some birthday shout outs. Yesterday was my great granddaughter birthday. All right, we can talk about that just now. So keep the special, keep special song. Yeah, yes. All right, I'm going to yes. play for everybody. Um, um, if you cannot, if you do not have the time, you you know, you're know you otherwise compromised, do you have a peer? Do you usually recommend a peer for an event in uh, the business? Most of the guys are from Elite Sounds, mm -hmm. uh, DJ Fest, Ryan, and then yeah. there's guys I use outside. Ryan's a nice mm -hmm. guy too. Very nice guy. You look like he makes a lot of money too in this <laughs> because he's all over the place. He's all over the place. I'm getting a lot of tips too. We have him busy. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Um, I want to know, you know, we talk about you going to a party and a set up and play. I want to know, what do you do? Um, let's say you got a show tonight. What's your, how your day starts in preparation for this show? So, in terms <laughs> Who of, think your job is very easy? It's tell us. It's not. Uh, <laughs> in terms of an event, to be honest, the planning for the event starts months before. Oh, really? Uh, <coughs> coming down to the final week, that's where the real preparation gets tough. It's not only the day of. The day of is the physical work. Uh, the week of, that's where you get prepared mentally. You know, you have to be ready for any type of challenge. You have to know what type of party you're going into, and that's where you, you educate yourself on what you need to do. Oh, well, you do your homework. Oh, yes, you have to do a lot of homework. Sometimes I'm going to it an takes afro weeks. with a mixed crowd. I got to play a little soca, a little hot <laughs> tune. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Preparation well, takes Indian, a long time. West Indian music will always, um, events will always be different from, you know, right, right, right. other ethnic events, too. Mm -hmm. So Spanish events, too, are very up there, too. Oh, yes. Very up there. You know, and yeah. I think West Indian events are the toughest. Because Western Indian events, we have all sorts of races coming to our event, mm -hmm. requesting different genres, mm -hmm. and we try to accommodate them. Mm -hmm. But it's very difficult for a West Indian person to go to an American person party and request that genre. Yeah. It's not going to happen. It's not happening, correct. It's not happening. Yeah. Um, DJ, what is the most events that you have um, done in one day? I would say three events. Three oh, events. wow, three that's events. a lot. Yeah. A lot, yeah. a lot of money, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot to, to um, transport equipment, set up, and do oh, yes. all your stuff. How long before the show you set up, you go mm -hmm. and set up at the place? At least two hours before. Two hours. Yeah, yeah. minimum. You two go hours. by yourself or you got friends to go with you? I have friends that go with me, set up. Uh, when you're doing, when you're um, DJing, do you double as an MC if you're requested to do so? If I'm requested, yes. If I'm requested, most of the time, maybe 90% of the time, there's a separate MC, mm -hmm. which is easier for me. Mm -hmm. When I have to do both, it becomes a little more difficult. Is there a time that you went and play, or I should rephrase my question, in terms of payment, do you take half money uh, ahead of time, or do you wait until you finish showing? Have you ever had anybody who, at the end of the show, they said, I'm not paying you? Oh, yes. When I first started, it happened many times. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, happened many times. Um, there wasn't much I could do about it. I just let it be, but I guarantee you I never work with them again. But has that changed your... Your that's changed now. That's changed now because now 
everyone is doing contract and deposit. Right. I was going to ask you that. So, that so you do a contract? Up. Yes. <coughs> Good. Now we do. Let's say, for instance, in a wedding or a birthday party, you are given a list of songs mm -hmm. to play. Um, they want you to play, so I guess you have to play those songs as well because they're requested. Um, but what about if the songs are not making the um, the dancers come out? Do you have to interject some some songs there? There's many situations where that happens, and you want to keep the client happy, but also you want to keep the guests happy. You know, so. You have to manu maneuver whatever they gave you, plus what you know is will... going to bring the crowd out. Exactly. Okay. Who misbehaved the most, guys or guys? G guys or girls? Girls. <laughs> Definitely girls. girls. Definitely the, girls. Oh, they, they misbehave. Yeah. Oh, really? When you say misbehave, like what you give you? Not a, in a bad way. Not in a bad oh, way. Not in a bad I'm way. <laughs> Did they anybody did any wrong things? What did it do to you like sometimes? I'm guilty of misbehaving. <laughs> oh, you know? oh, she's guilty. See, there you go. <laughs> what what was something that Oh man, I, I don't I don't think I want to say. Oh, you want to oh, I, right, I, I I will leave that then. I understand. I get it. Oh my god. Do girls hit on you a lot? Yeah. Hey, DJ get the most hitting <coughs> on. Oh really? Mm -hmm. You get a lot of hits? Sometimes. Depends. Okay, I just we just want to know. A the lot life of the of times, DJ. I'm very busy. I don't pay no mind to it. I don't pay attention to it. At an event, I'm the most busiest. And you're more professional. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to be. You look like that kind of guy, though. Oh yeah. You look like a decent. You look guy. very suave. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm very relaxed. I'm very calm. <laughs> I I have to be that way. And what, you know, <laughs> sometimes I get excited at my job and like these guys misbehave. I get loud, but in a in a way I perform sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you know, but still I'm still humble and, and grateful that I have a job and whatever it is, you know. But what um what do you do on a daily basis to keep you in a nice relaxing mood? <clears throat> to be honest, uh, I'm naturally a calm person, so it helps, you know. Over time, I've learned how to handle pressure. <clears throat> and there's been days where I was given a lot of pressure and I cracked. You cracked. But, but over time, you get better at it. And now I'm someone who handles the most pressure oh, wow. at an event, especially reception. There's going to be clients changing things at the last minute. Oh, really? You, you have to get it done. They expect you to get it done. That's what they pay you for. You have to get it done. <clears throat> You can't tell them, listen, you, you didn't make this arrangement with me. Now, you know, or you just be nice. As much as I want to say that, I try to keep it professional, you know. And they know. They know. On the other end of things, I'll tell you, I was an invited guest at a party. When I went there, I was called. I missed a cocktail hour because things were not prepared with the DJ. They, they do everything by email. And I guess they don't make that fun. I, I believe in a phone call to see that everything is all right. At the party, at this wedding party, everybody is there. And now the guy is not going to MC. So they call me up to MC. I'm going through the list with oh, him. I said, which songs are you playing for them? And they told me, um, oh, there's only one song. Everybody's going to come into one song. They didn't get more. I said, no, that's not what I was told. And then we had this whole thing like in an hour of rushing mm -hmm. because the place did not have the internet upstairs. I had a list of the songs to give him, but we, he, did, he wasn't finding the music. Mm -hmm. And the mother of the groom said she's not walking in if she doesn't get her song. Oh, wow. That's, that's chaos. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. chaos. And the elevator wasn't working. And I had to run. The bride and groom were in one floor upstairs. The hall was on the second floor, and the, the guy that I have to go to try to help me get this internet was all the way to the bottom to the other thing. So in that thing, I was in a flurry from up to down, up to bottom, yeah. up to down, up to bottom. And well, so nobody yeah. sees what goes on behind the scenes. Nobody knew. Nobody, nobody knew knows. what. Nobody. Not even the bride, not the groom, not no. Nobody knew what I went through for that hour. I think only the DJ. 
I think only the DJ nobody, knew what I was going through. Nobody knows what goes on mm -hmm. behind the scene. You have to mm -hmm. hold things together. Mm -hmm. They yeah. just see the success. Mm -hmm. They just see the outcome of it. I have to ask you this question. Suppose somebody is poor. I should ask you this, but you know, and they really, you see a nice genuine couple who really want a DJ, but they can't afford it. How you how you deal with that kind of thing? Well, <coughs> uh, someone who doesn't have the no, finance. Wait, sorry, please, y'all don't call him to play free. Please, I'm not <laughs> saying that. I'm just, you know, I'm saying, but how you deal with that? So, so that's one of the things where you have to know your clients, right? If someone is genuine and they don't have the finance for it, <coughs> more than likely, I'm going to work with them. Right, right. But, but if someone I know they have the finance, but they just playing, games. playing. <laughs> right, I'm not going to work with them. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So well. do you usually, as I was saying, do you usually um, help? You sit down with the person, help and get your playlist. Oh yes, before that's part of the planning process. Planning, right? We start. You from the program. Them. Yeah, of you course. help them with songs, that's suggestions, suggestions. And, Planning the program from A to Z, you name it, we go over it mm -hmm. multiple times mm -hmm. uh, from months before, the week mm -hmm. of, the day of. I do MC birthdays <coughs> and parties, so that is something I do with my DJs. Okay. I meet with them before. Oh, yes. And then on the day of, I usually go you do my to. mic check, mm -hmm. and I usually, I am usually there with them like the two hours before, making sure that everything is. Um, you have you know. to. You want to and make sure that. Mm -hmm. When you go out there, you're prepared, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's good. And once you're prepared, they're not, not there, there isn't hiccups. But if you go unprepared, that's then, the worst oh, thing. Uh, it's nobody, a disaster. Nobody wants to. It's a disaster. That. And you have to make it seem like easy peasy and nobody knows. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like the duck calm under water, but you paddling, paddling furiously under the water to keep afloat. Where do you like to? To, um, to play music, like weddings, these, these, these shows, where? I like, I like weddings, weddings the most. You like weddings? Mm -hmm. Plenty yeah. party and dance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what are some of your favorite wedding songs? Favorite wedding songs? Oh, man, I have too much. Oh, I have really? too much. Uh, both genres, uh, American English, Indian, so Bollywood. Give us one, one, one. One, one, one? Oh, man. I would say Bollywood right now is uh, Mehendi Karam. Uh, that's very okay, popular that's right now. Yeah. What's your name? Mehendi? The, yeah, we, we did the Pagwa scene to that song. It was. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. I don't. I, can you sing it? Are you no, a singer? No, no, I'm not a singer. <laughs> Navin, we have we to call you. Navin or Sherwin for that. Yeah, sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Sherwin. I think. Oh, yeah. I don't think no, I don't so. know who Sherwin is. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. <coughs> Navin yeah. is our boy too. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what are some of your favorite birthday songs? Now I now there's a lot oh, of birthday songs. Oh man. Um, birthday songs. To be honest. For the last two years, mm -hmm. there's a birthday song by Ravi B. Everyone's been, uh -huh. everyone's, everyone's been using that, um, and it's gonna be that way until something else comes out. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. You know. What about club songs? What's the going? Song club song? Um, I don't know at the top of my head right now. There's, there's too much. Too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you have a bank of music? Oh yes. Like, on a disc? On a hard drive. Oh, wow. It's on a hard drive. Have you ever lost all your music? I've lost my hard drive before, but a smart person, they always have backup. All right. So you mm -hmm. have backup. I have many backups. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. You know, one of the things we use is Dropbox. It's an app where it allows you to store up to two terabytes of music. Oh, that's a lot. So uh, there's been situations where I just had to log in and get what I wanted. Oh. From there, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just have to think ahead. Some DJs sell songs, music, like you know, stick. You, you ever do that? Yeah, I, I never, I never done it. Done it. There's okay. many friends who asked me for music, and I just gave it to them. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Cool. Farouk, Farouk does that for me every oh. time. Farouk, I gotta thank him too. I think he's loved on. 
Every time I need oh, yes, to yeah, he he's always man, supporting me. He is Very like nice guy. this. He is like <laughs> this. I, I love him too. Yeah. Sometimes I think mm -hmm. Farouk did too much. No, I no, know. not in a negative way. No, no, no. Uh, he he you know. is always so helpful. Yeah. Listen, um, sometimes I call him Farouk. I need to beat to this thing here. And I'm gonna, you know, I do comedies mostly. So and he's he very supportive. But he, in the very, community. very. He's, I, I can't. Yeah. He's uh, supported me from day one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very That's nice man. Yeah. yeah. Um. By the way, what is the best, uh, best club or disco that you have ever played at? Wow. The best club. Uh, the one you like the most, then. So, so one of my favorite places to play was uh, Mingles. I was, Mingles. I was a house DJ there for oh, over really? 10 years. Oh, wow. Mm. That's... So that was one of my favorite places. But uh, unfortunately, I haven't been there in a while. It's been mostly weddings. So Mingles, boy. Mm. So Mingles still open, though, right? It's still open. <clears throat> yes. I think good. my friend Vanessa, she usually sings there now. Oh. Okay. Vanessa Matura. Yes. Um, where would be your dream venue in anywhere in the world to perform? To perform? Anywhere in the to world. To play the music. To, no? yeah, yeah, to to DJ. DJ is a performance too, right? Yeah. yeah. It's considered it's the same thing. Well, you see me, probably I think it was performing as dance or, you know. Singing. Uh, singing and that, No, you know, DJing is also it's performance. along the same lines. All right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we got Linda Singh. Good evening, Linda Singh. How are you, Jupa T? Lakai, good evening to you. Um, they said they were not hearing a little bit. I turned the, the volume up a little bit. Sabitri Ramsamuj, good evening to you. Thank you. The beautiful Miss Maria Harris, just tune in. Anita Monsami, good evening to you. Your daughter locked in, uh, Miss um, Anjani Olarte. She says, good evening, everyone. Hope all had a wonderful weekend. Uh, Michelle Prasad, good evening to you. The beautiful Michael Nalini Naidu, thank you very much. And DJ Fiverishman is saying, anyone need tickets, call my number, 718-502-4842 for the event on the 29th. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the 29th. There is a lot of things going on in the 29th. A lot in the 29th. I am 29th. so confused now, <laughs> I don't know what to do. No, I know, yeah. I know what to do, but yeah. at the same time. Yeah, because we're talking about some of the come upcoming events in okay. a little bit. We got Zamal Sharif. Good evening to you, my friend, Mr. Henry Villa, watching from Iron, Texas. Mm -hmm. Good evening to you. Um, Chitra is watching. Good evening, Chitra. How Namaste. are you? Arya Arjun. Good evening. Watching from, I mm. think it's Lot something, Mike Mahaika. <laughs> Good evening, Tara Singh. Good. How are you, darling? Rohini Mahara Maharaj is watching. That's, That's your from family. Sarina. Imran Ahmed, Ahmad, a very good afternoon to you too. Thank you very much. So go ahead, Radhika. Yeah, I was asking you, where would be your dream venue to perform? Uh, Here or anywhere that you would choose? To. I would say what internationally, would uh, in Europe, somewhere. Oh, really? Somewhere in yeah. Europe, yeah. DJ Quicksilver. Not, not, not <laughs> India, not Europe. Maybe, you know. Mm -hmm. I would, but I like Europe. The, the energy there is a little oh, different. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You could manage that, though? I think I could. You could? Yeah. yeah hey, he he does his homework. He, he, <laughs> he's dedicated to what he does, to his craft. Yeah. At most g events, guests usually a little bit over sugared up and think they come to you. I mean, absolutely drunk, <laughs> asking, <laughs> asking you to stop that music and play a song that they want. You know, how do you handle that situation? Well, it happens just about every party, uh, but by the end of the oh, night, really? they, they end up being my friend. Oh, wow. okay. End of the night. Do you play the songs they want? It depends. Uh -huh. um, if it's something I can fit in, I definitely do. Mm -hmm. If I feel like it's it's gonna hurt the crowd, I I hold back as much mm -hmm. as I can, mm -hmm. and I just keep the flow going. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, someone asked Linda Singh, say, what's your goal for the future? So my goal for the future, um, I want to do more events and bring people together in the community like I did last week. Okay. You know, uh, you were at that event, you saw what went on there. Yeah. I, I definitely have, I have two more events. I heard that was on fire. But yeah. I have two more events before the end of this year. All right. But 
But um, you know what? I, and I, go. I got to tell you, Radhika, I, I went, I, I started up outside. You know, one of the reasons I really went to that thing, I, I love um, Radhika. I love her song. What is the song name again that she sing? Um, Jingling. Uh, Jingling, jingling. <laughs> Everybody oh here this thing. That's my granddaughter. That's my song. Mm -hmm. But I really went there because of DJ Quicksilver. I just want to go and support him. Because I had to work the next morning at 7 o'clock. So mm -hmm. I get old now. So by the time to wake up, oh my God, I'd be so tired. But I, I honestly went just to support you. Because you're a kind and a supportive guy. And I appreciate that. Seriously. You know, you yes. see me standing outside here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I like to go sit down and, uh, but it was, I see the videos of them, it was on fire and it was great. And I have to commend you too, because a young guy, I mean, you said you've been around a long time, but I know your name is out there more now, mm -hmm. you know. That's and correct. You, yeah, you're correct, right? And mm -hmm. you've been mingling with things and you're getting bigger artists and so on. And my next question to you is, now, um, who would be one of the artists that you would want to bring here? That, well, listen, if I get the artist, I'm the baddest one around. So, one of the artists that I grew up listening to was Rosika, which I already done. Right. Um, a second person was Rakesh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. in the future. I'm a very big. I'm a very big fan of uh, Savita Singh. Oh God, I love her. So she that's to rock the body on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the future. Um, and then. There's so much artists, but also there's many artists right here in New York. We have a lot of talent in Queens, in New York, in New Jersey, and I'd like to see them shine. So my future events, I am going to have them perform and let the community see what they can do. You know, that's one of the reasons why I, I am planning more events. One of the events I am planning, it's on October 27th. It's a Diwali show. I'm doing it oh, for nice. the community. Um, every year I do a toy drive, uh, free for the community. I collect toys. I donate it to two different organizations, toys for hospitalized children and um, toys for tots by the Marines. Last year, December 2023, I was able to donate over 500 pieces of toys. Oh, wow. That's a bolt. Good for you. Uh, so. <clears throat> I want to do more community events, and I think that's what the community need. Just so you know, in during Christmas time, he is Santa Claus and I am Mistress Santa. <laughs> so we've gone di oh, di yes. different places for that. I'm, book you, I'm booking us up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, hey, and, and everybody loves us, though, by the way. Oh yes. Oh, they love Absolutely. Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. but we, we we do it like you. We go do for fun. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I have, I never really used to do it. Oh, last year was the first time. And then no, this, we've been doing it like three last years year? now. It's three? Three oh, years Oh, God. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I see I get it old now, you yeah. know, so. Yeah, and I, I commend you for as so Last year, year we guys. went to different ethnicity, mm -hmm. not West Indian. We went out in the love yeah. Us. yeah, We went to the white people place. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. We left there walking to say, wow, look at how nice they treat us. Nobody bad talk us or anything. And that's the thing. Anytime you step out of our community, yeah. it's a different type of energy. And I like that. Me you know? too. You know, some, some venues might not have all the equipment that is necessary for you to, for you as a DJ to do your business, right? Mm -hmm. Do you usually bring backup equipment usually for events? So that involves doing homework again. You have to know where you're going, what they have, and whatever is needed, I can supply it, and we get we get it done. Okay. And usually, how much space do you need um, for yourself and your gear? Um, in terms of feet, I don't have an average space. Space. Yeah, not fees. I don't. You said you said fees, right? Uh, no, I said feet. Like oh, feet, 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 feet. 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 Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, measurements. I don't have an exact measurement. I usually work with what's there. You just go with a little corner. Yeah. Okay. Whatever's there, I utilize it to the best I can. Oh, okay, okay. All right. What's the best advice that you was given 
after a good DJ? After? Uh-huh. Compliment. Compliment, yeah. Uh, I was always told, leave room for growth, you know? Oh, really? As, as good as someone will tell you you are, as good as you may think you are, you have to be better the next time. Yeah, man. I agree. I agree. I like mm-hmm. that. So, do you usually have a plan B for inclement weather if you are having an outdoor event? Um, what options do you have for protecting your equipment? So, outdoor event, most of the times, client supply tents. If there's a situation where I need to, I will. And we make it work. Whatever is needed, I work with the client and get it done. So, that's my goal to make their event as successful as it can be. And you said you usually do your sound check the day oh, yes. of and yeah. Have you, like, sometime we go on this show and I'm like, I'm so lost because this, this system doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Does that ever happen to you where you're going to go play music when the song is not coming out the way you want it to come out? There's situations that has happened before and that's why I try to go earlier, set up, Make sure everything is working. And that way there's no surprise the time of, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's a good way to, to, mm-hmm. to, to look at it. Yeah. yeah, well, let's not forget. I'm asking you about the inclement weather. Your equipment, mm-hmm. electrical equipment, can be hazardous as well, oh, yes. right? So do you require liability insurance? Yes, I do have liability insurance. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of venues that require mm-hmm. it now. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, is it expensive? It's not. It's <coughs> not expensive. Is it per <coughs> event or you have a flat? I think it's monthly. 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 Oh, okay. Yes. okay. And what is your cancellation policy? <coughs> the cancellation policy, as written on the contract, uh, if there's a cancellation for any type of reason, the date will be given in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, there's no refund for future dates. As long as I'm available, you will get that down payment towards the future events. Event. Yes. Okay. That's fair enough. Mm-hmm. That's fair enough. Wow. Um, how many breaks do you usually need throughout the evening? To be honest, I don't take any break at all. I start, I just keep going until the event ends. Okay. What about bathroom break and a break no, to get I something to eat? No? No. I, well, once I start, I just keep You don't going. drink anything? Mm-hmm. I, don't I don't really drink. drink. But then, like, if it's a wedding, there's speech time. There's speech time. But there's you a, there's a lot attentive. of downtime, but mm-hmm. you have to pay attention to what's going on. Mm-hmm. Controlling the system, the mics, mm-hmm. all of that mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. There's going to be people talking to you, distracting you. It happens. There's going to be changes, so you have to be able to multitask, right. you know, and be good at it also. Have you get young people to come to you and ask for advice, like young DJs? How you how you advise them? Oh, yeah, there's many DJs that oh, really? I've taught. Oh, wow. There's many DJs that ask for advice. There's many DJs that ask for music. Oh. And that's, that's something you cannot forget where you started. Right, you know, right. you cannot forget where you started, mm-hmm. and you give you advice to the best of your knowledge. At that point, whoever gets the advice, they have to take it and run, run with it. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So, do you have different packages for different occasions? There's and um, there is there is yeah. And do you have a package that include like lightning, like effects, oh, yes. and all of that? You there's know? there's oh, really? standard packages. Then there's packages with uh, DJ sound system, lighting, oh, wow. and everything else. We have photo booth. We have TVs. Oh wow! So viewers, listen up. Everything yeah. one shot. Yes, we even have uh, decorators, uh, photo, video. Mm. Mm. So we have multiple vendors that we give package deals. Do you guys deals. network or? Yes, we do. You network. Nice, nice, very interesting. That's good though. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so those are included, different packages for different events, yes. right? Um, 
<laughs> when do you take a deposit and when when the rest is due? Do you wait until the end of the the deposit? is due when a contract is signed mm -hmm. and that begin that automatically holds the date for the client the balance is due at the event of course some clients they prefer to take care of it before because they're going to be so busy and there's some clients they we have agreements where it's going to be taken care of after so. um i know you went with a big name Rasika. Mm -hmm. Have anyone, have you asked anyone to bring them here when they said no to you? To bring them here? <coughs> yes. In terms of, no, no, I haven't. No. Oh, okay. No. Good. And I know you're building a name now, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's going to get better. Your clientele better. will get better. It's going to get better. And they will tell each other, that boy, DJ Quicksilver is the man, you know. He pay me good. He buy me the <laughs> ticket. He give you food, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um... <clears throat> And you provide mics and everything for the ceremony, for the speakers everything. and everything, uh, right? Full production, mm -hmm. we do it you all. You have a mic ready, mm -hmm. do you prefer um, cordless mic or you prefer the wire one? I prefer wireless. Oh, wireless, yes. 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 Good. Yeah, I, I, I don't like, like wired mics. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look <laughs> professional. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So we in the, 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 the we at a different era now. Long time you. Oh yeah, you know you still you still see people who believe in the wired mics, which is fine. Everyone have their own opinion. Right. But I like the wireless. And that's why I'm gonna I'm working to get a wireless too because both of you have a wireless, <laughs> and I'm the only one who have the regular I one. I love but, wireless. I yeah. yeah. But I like this one, though. It's not a, the only thing is I got to keep focus and keep my mouth next. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, said that you have to go to a wedding. What would you usually wear? Because it's uh, it's a, you know, what would you wear at a wedding? Basically, at a wedding, um, I would wear a suit. Nice. You know. I like that. You got to look. You got yeah, no, no, I'm asking that because I've seen DJs at a wedding wearing T-shirts and wearing. Like, yeah, I don't. Not dressed up. I don't at like all. that, especially for a home. I've seen T-shirts, even if it's a regular shirt, maybe okay, but mm -hmm. I don't believe T-shirts. If, if you're in a backyard where no one's gonna see well, you. Well, yeah, that's different. That that can work, but in a hall, no. Mm -hmm. that yeah. Can't. It doesn't gotta, look good. Uh, yeah. Not at all. Yeah, I like that. And, and mm -hmm. guess what? Like. You will have to spend a lot of money on clothes too. Oh yes, mm -hmm. every I event mean, so I have to get a different shirt. Where, where you shop? So I could probably go there too. Where do I shop? So some of my favorite stores are Zios, Express, uh, and I just wing everything else. Oh yeah, from there. Yeah, I like to Marshalls. I like Marshalls. You know, mm -hmm. the only Macy's. thing I get a pair of blue, a lot of blue shirts. Oh God, blue yeah. shirts. <laughs> I'm I'm the blue I'm, man. I have every show I get blue or white. You know. Yeah. I like Macy's a lot too. Mm -hmm. Alfani, they have the Alfani shirts. Yeah. I like. I love those. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love those. A uh, very important question for you here, for the viewers and possible clients. Mm -hmm. um, what some of the things that are included in your packages? So some of the things. Again, basic sound system, the mics, there's lighting, there's TVs, there's sparks, there's dry ice, um, there's 360 photo. The fog, the fog, fog machine. Yes, yeah. we, mm -hmm. we do it all. We make it happen. <clears throat> Good. Good, great. Um, if, if a female come to you while you're playing, you can hold on and say, let's, let's dance. Mm -hmm. What do you do? <laughs> I've had that happen before, but I can't lose focus. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do like DJ Fest. <laughs> oh my no, god. No, no, no. He's here. He's on. Hey DJ Fest, how you doing? <laughs> DJ so, Fest misbehave. He will let him bring a shot for him. Uh -huh. You know, a Last big time he was bringing me some shots. <laughs> <laughs> so um you said you usually sign the contract and you get the rest of your payment. Um, you sign the, the contract, of, you take a deposit, and you get paid on the day of. Do you usually make sure you get your payment before the end of the ceremony or until the end of the ceremony? To be honest, I've never had an issue with that, mm. being that most people, 
they prefer to take care of that before mm -hmm. because at the event they don't want anything on their head on their they just right. want to mm -hmm. enjoy and have the a event, party and, you know yeah. Yeah, so. yeah yeah then that's good mm -hmm. And does your contract include like overtime and overtime class? Because sometimes the party is so good every hour. Right, we take in an hour more. We take in two hours more. Do you have a clause? Oh, yes. Overtime? So <coughs> uh, with extensions, yeah, there's an additional cost. For, oh, wow. Okay. Usually a price is given based on the time. Mm -hmm. That's also written in the contract. Okay. So. I want to ask you about this last show that you had. Um, mm -hmm. Is this your one of your biggest show you had or no? It is. It is one of. One I of think it was one. the biggest for me. How was the planning for the show? Oh man, uh, the planning. At first, it was easy. Getting closer to the event, it was very stressful. Oh wow! It was very stressful. Um, there were nights I couldn't sleep. Really? You know, wow. There were nights I couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, thinking about it, figuring out what to do in a situation mm -hmm. and what's going to happen, things like that. There's, there was like a million things going through my head. Mm -hmm. And that's okay because it made me prepare for the event. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be prepared for the event. You never know what happened. You never know what could happen. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be prepared and be as smooth as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things, it helps being a calm person. There's people who can't handle pressure. There's people who can't handle stress. And they get... Flustered. Yeah. Was she difficult to work with, Ros uh, Rosika? No, she was actually very easy to work with. Um, <clears throat> when I spoke to her, you know, she... I told her what I wanted to do. I explained what I want to do, how I want to do it. And she gave me ideas. She gave me ideas. She worked with my ideas to make the event successful. Mm -hmm. Oh, she did give ideas. Yes. She could play that harmonia. Oh, my God. All right. Um, <clears throat> do you usually play, play filler music, like? You have to fill up music if there's blank spaces, like in speeches and... That's um, required a lot of times, depending on the MC. Mm -hmm. Some MCs don't like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Did they ever call the police while you guys playing there and how you deal with that? Backyards? backyards? Yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. always going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did? Yeah. Backyards, there's always a neighbor that... Uh, <laughs> You know, what's the latest you could really play music though? R legally, I don't, I don't think, think there's, there's a time, time limit. limit. I think what they, what they go by, by what the precinct go by, is the number of calls. Oh wow! If they get a certain number of calls, they have to come. Oh wow! Yeah. If they don't get a lot of uh, calls, then most likely they're not going to show up. Mm -hmm. Usually it's after like 12 though, right? Usually usually it's after. Like I've had situations where they came at 10 o'clock. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. That's so, early. So yeah. do they just um, give you a precaution like to lower the music or they just want you to cut it off? They usually give a warning, lower it. I mean, they're, they're understanding. They work with everyone. They know it's summertime. Yeah. We basically have three months of summer. People want to enjoy it. Right. They understand that. And just give a warning. As long as we obey what they ask of us, mm -hmm. it's gonna it's gonna flow. If and, and this just came to my mind, <laughs> if you're you're playing music at a, a legal something that's decent mm -hmm. and the people who are the, 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 the owners them say listen, you need to pump that music up more hard, mm -hmm. what do you do? I I would turn it up. You turn it up? Yeah. Then they shut it off early so you could go home early, not just mess with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of... Well, if the police mm. come, they should be more, you know, that either you play uh, softer or the party is over. Yeah. Well, like I said, I usually uh, go with what they ask of me just to make them happy. 
it's their call. Yes, you know, I agree. I have we have the beautiful Miss um, Debbie Castro watching. Thank you very much, Beryl Indra Susaran. Good evening, my dear. It's good to have you on watching us now. Um, you're up late, but that's good. I mean, it's not too late anyway. Ryan, um, Ryan is watching. That's good. It's good to always have these FS. Pearl, good evening. She's watching from Toronto, Canada. Um, they, they said to turn the light on. They're not seeing you. Um, <laughs> they, they that has to be fast. That's fast, yes. <laughs> so, and my beautiful Aunt Dolores Siegel been watching from Hartford City, Connecticut. Um, Sean Hu, um, watching near Mala Prashad. Good evening to you. Bibi Sharif, good evening to you too. Um, Sandra Jagdeo, good evening to you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, Jupati Lokai, good evening to you. Stella Harpasad, Stella Harpasad, good evening. Um, you think we should play music or no? Um, we have 15 minutes more. We have to do some shout outs. So okay, what do you so want to do? I just want to ask um, DJ Quicksilver um, to let the viewers know if you want a packed dance floor at all times, all night long. You can contact DJ Quicksilver at 347-848-6312. Or email him at DJ Quicksilver NYC at gmail.com. Easy peasy, right? These Very numbers, easy. yes. <laughs> and if you need to get his contact number, call Ken. Ken has all the details. Yeah, look, it's it's right? on the screen. Um, it's screen on the there screen too. right now. It's he's easy to get because um mm -hmm. I I was on his page today and was he so uh, that's him there playing. Mm -hmm. My look sharp with his <laughs> suit there. I that know. was for a wedding. Oh, okay. Oh. Good, good. That's the yeah, attire so that we you see there. The, yeah. And yeah, folks, we're talking to DJ Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, like I said before, you know, a very humble and nice guy. And one of the things that I really admire him for a young guy is that not he he's not money hungry. Um, you know, he do his free shout, um, his free play, for example, our shows, you know, he come and play and he don't charge us any money. So um, I owe him in, in a way, if you know what I mean. So my parents say, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you very much again. Um, All right. Again. So we're going to do the birthday song as soon as I give out a little shout out to the birthday people. Which song so are we going to play? You, you, you said you had a special song for birthday. I was going to play anyone, but go ahead. Oh, play anything. All right. So let's, Something random. No, let me just say, at this time, we just want to shout out happy birthday greetings to, first of all, my great grand Anaya on her second birthday yesterday, to Sabita, um, Gita's cousin in Guyana, um, to happy birthday to our very own Sabina Sankar, Miss Immigrant USA, she celebrated her birthday a few days ago. To my good friend, Mike Sanasi in Canada, also a happy 90th birthday to Uncle Sidney Archie. I was at his birthday party Saturday night and you rocked that floor like a 40 year old. He's 90 years old, but oh my goodness. To Pratap Govardhan, uh, happy birthday. That's Sushila's brother and Prem Govardhan's brother. Um, to my nephew, Anand Prasad in Guyana, to Shanti, Samad, and to all those celebrating their birthdays this week, including my granddaughter, Anneli, and Pandit Yogeshwar's little son, Adi, on, on Saturday. Um, a very happy birthday to all of you. So let's get the birthday song. Um, we, we got two choices. We could play Ravi B or Raymond. Who you think they would like the most? I like Ravi B. I like Ravi B too. Let's go with Ravi hey. B. Happy birthday, everybody. The greatest players see things differently. You're watching and from our hearts with Radika and Ken on Iron Zone Radio. Financial and this show airs every Sunday, every Monday night from 8 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I want to say to Radhika, while the song is coming up, um, it's going to be a heat wave this weekend. So I want people to um, to make sure they safeguard themselves, you know? Yeah, great. Come in soft white. And so they, <laughs> they, we are still getting, um, what do you call it, the advertisement. Yeah. So make sure you hydrate yourself for the weekend. Don't go outside, especially if you're my age, 
stay indoor, put on the AC. Um, if you have diabetes, you got heart problems, stay indoor. Stay right indoor. from tomorrow. Yeah. All right. I don't know why the song is gonna fit all the cables. This weekend is gonna be uh and it's magnetic. We got Taking DJ the right headphones here. out. I can tell that these are gonna be so comfortable for all. Back. All right, let's see. There you go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Summer is right around the corner, and he's saying there's going to be a heat wave this weekend. So try to maintain, keep on the AC, keep indoors if you can. I have a birthday party, a backyard birthday party, so I don't know. Maybe this weekend. Oh, it could be. So let's see what's going on there. Yeah, I already see a lot of barbecue grills outside. I had barbecue already this weekend. So. Being a person, a very good mm -hmm. evening to you, my dear. Thank you for tuning in. And we have Nashima Rahman 
watching from Canada. Thank you very much. Yeah, so as I was saying, it's time to get those bikinis and those bathing suits out, um, hit the beaches, get some sun, get the tan, get some sun, and plan your getaway vacations because the kids will soon be out on summer break, right? Graduation is still going on, so I just we just want to send out congratulations to all the graduates. And if you did not graduate, we celebrate you too, right? All our children have different God-given talents, and it's vital that we celebrate all of you. My advice to everyone out there, I am asking you to please be kind to each other. Everyone that you're meeting is fighting a battle you know nothing about, so please, please, please be kind at all times. Y'all remember the saying, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones? Yes. Right? So, or yeah, let me put another one. If mm -hmm. you got see, don't tell the Bogodi. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I want to turn that? Those are very <laughs> clever proverbs <laughs> to remember. Mm -hmm. First, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you, you have never heard it? I've never heard you it. You know what it is? Sir? I've heard it. I know. It. All right, mm -hmm. good. <laughs> he was in the Anino Masna. <laughs> it's a very clever proverb to remind us that we should not be criticizing people for their flaws. For we are not flawless either. We all... We all have flaws, so let us get into the habit of encouraging and uplifting each other. Viewers, just say encouraging others is an important part of a family, of a community, and everyone is doing their best in this world, and sometimes a kind word of encouragement can help others realize they are not alone. Whether the person is known to you or is a stranger, take some time out to encourage someone who crosses your path, right? And this, um, we're going to go to some of the events that we do have coming up. Go ahead, start do you, do you we, want us we could to, do and then we're going to give him? Yes. All right. So save the date. Um, next June 22nd, June 22nd. Uh, the Sri Ganesh Mandir will be having a food, um, a food, what do you call it? A food, that is it? Food sale. Oh, you got Seven it. Seven curry. Seven <laughs> curry. And it's only $15 for serving. The pickup time is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And this is all happening at um, 114th Street and Liberty Avenue. 114th Street and Liberty Avenue. And I think they might surprise us with a little, a couple of perine leaves if they get it, right? So Ken and I will be going there for our seven curry. Um, what time are we going, Ken? Oh, I don't know, but we will be there. Um, we will be going to yes. get our We just want to support portions. support mm -hmm. Yes. And um, the next thing that we have on the 23rd, what do we have on the 23rd? The 29th, the 29th, we have oh, the... Jesus of Nazareth, but let's go. Yeah, I do not remember what we have in the 29th. So on the 29th is the Raj Show. I don't, the 29th is the Raj Show, Show that we've been talking about. And the place to be that evening is no other than Caribbean Fest. And the show is a top-down show from our heart. And it's an aid of medical outreach program. Admission is only $40. They are getting the place for free, so your $40 is going to the, the medical outreach program. And uh, Diraj was here a little bit earlier, and this outreach program is to help people in Guyana who needs to come to the States for medical attention. So your money will be going to a worthy uh, cause. And some of the artists that are going to be there, special for for performances by Farouk, the Firishman, Balika, our own very own Jumping Jack, Shanti Singh, Sun Sun, Sunny Pasad, DJ Logic, NCP dancers, Anjali, Sunita, Radhika, that's myself, Shanaz, Kenneth here, Travolta, Amit, Saman, Sheila Basdev, DJ Ryan, and Sharwin. And of course, the man himself, D Raj Gairam. He fires up the event. So come on out. So, guys, where are we meeting again on the 29th? Caribbean Fest, 11614 Rockaway Boulevard. Doors open at 7, showtime is 8 p.m. Come on out and let's have a good time. Also, um, on the 30th. The 29th, also we have Shamiza 
will be having uh -huh. her um, her award, her third annual award dinner and dance. So um, I, I tell you, I hate when these things happen, when you have both shows from Ireland's own radio um, and they have the same time but different venues. So I, I am in a position where I'll tell people, you decide where you want to go. Um, either way you want tickets for either one of them, let me know. I have tickets. Um, so I don't know. Um, it's a very ticklish situation. Mm -hmm. But everybody will have to, to be the ball where they want to, you know. All right. And on June 30th, um, June 30th, as you all know, Roshan has been having some... Um, he need, we're doing a fundraiser. He needs a kidney transplant. And we're doing a fund... Well, the Angel Caribbean Bands, they're hosting a fundraiser event for Roshan Shifcharan on June 30th, 3 p.m. at Starlight Pavilion. As everybody knows by now, Roche needs a kidney uh, transplant, and the fundraiser has been set up to cover some medical expense. So even if you can't go, the ticket is only $20. Only $20. Please contribute towards this case if you can't go, or if somebody would like to go and they can't afford the ticket. It's only $20, but if you want to buy a ticket and donate it to someone who can make it, Please do so. Also, if you want to sit up front, you can pay fifty dollars. Oh yeah. Yes, fifty dollars for one ticket. Also, um, what Roche is saying that the person um, who donates the kidney, they are going to get the money will go to them, oh. which is a great thing. Wow. So very interesting. Yes, and if you guys want to um, want to, you know, go and test yourself to see if you match and you want to give him a kidney. It's fine. It's not a problem. As you know, we know that people can function with one, one kidney. kidney. You don't need two kidneys. Mm -hmm. So if you want, if you, you it's a good thing. If you have it in your heart that you can help, you know, somebody. Your heart and your vital organs, you know. Just. Yeah, I'm coming to that. But right <laughs> now, over to Mr. DJ Quicksilver. Oh, yeah. And so, tell us about your upcoming events. Now. <clears throat> so as uh, Ken mentioned on the 29th, uh, Shamiza's event. Of course, I will be DJing for that event. Um, so everyone, please come out. My personal events, I mentioned earlier, October 27th, I have a Diwali event, which is free for the community. It's something for the community that I want to do. And I have another event, November 29th, which is the Friday after Thanksgiving. It's going to be my second show for this year. Uh, just want to let everyone know to come out. Flyers will come out around August. Do you, but have, you can save the date in advance. You have a venue for the Diwali event? The venue is Liberty Palace. Oh, nice. Cool. So, yeah, we do our show. That's right? in oh, the yeah. heart of um, <laughs> Liberty, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Heart of Richmond Hill. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And do you have a venue for the other The show? second show, I don't have a venue yet. But I'm Look out for flyers. Yes. Look out for the details. So now it's um so we got one minute more to one go. One more minute to go. Close. So I'll say yeah. All right. Thank you, all our wonderful viewers. Um, I forgot to say something. Yesterday was Eid. Eid Al Adha. Um, yeah, Eid for our Muslims brother and sisters. I just want to shout out a very happy. I don't know how to pronounce it. Happy Eid Mubarak to all of you. It's a festival of sacrifice. So um, Allah's blessing unto all of you. And to all of you, our viewers, thank you so very much for logging in. Uh, so every Monday we have our date time, 8.30. Um, today we are finishing at 10 p.m. I thought we might go longer because I had so many questions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are on time. So yes. God bless your hearts and all your other vital parts. Just want to say thanks for everyone for the support, for tuning in. And uh, everyone have a good night. And so we want to say um, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in on tonight's episode with DJ Quicksilver. And like I says, please, whatever he's doing, just go out and support him, you know, because you know, he, he helped our community. He helped support all of us here. So thank you very much. Um, 
and have a great the Wednesday coming up is June um, Juneteenth. So guys, be safe. Don't drink and drive, and have a good day again. As we know that for the next couple of days, there will be um, a heat wave, especially here in New York. So make sure that you hydrate yourself. Don't go outside. Um, I'll be waking up early in the morning to to do my work, like five o'clock, six o'clock, oh so <laughs> ten o'clock. I'll be in the house in my AC. Again, thank you so much, everyone, and share the show, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night.